All right, welcome back to more Tecmo Super Bowl. All right, we're in week 14. we got to start keeping an eye on what's going on. Uh, let's see. All right, we've got Pittsburgh. Now, I don't know about Pittsburgh. They've got a good record. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at everybody. All right, Buffalo. This is... In the midst of the years that Buffalo went to the Super Bowl four different times and lost four different times, so I'm assuming Buffalo is most likely going to win that division. My times playing this in the past, there's been very few times that Buffalo didn't win it, and if they didn't, it was Indianapolis that won it or Miami. Uh, Pittsburgh's nine and three, so we've got the exact same record. I want to say their defense is probably pretty good. Pittsburgh typically has a good defense. But I, uh, as far as offense, nobody comes to mind. Yeah, looks like they've got that one wrapped up. Uh, yeah, it's still close in the West, too. Got the Raiders on top. and Yeah, just about everybody's about, well, Top three teams are within two games of each other, and then you, if you add the fourth and the fifth, they're within four games of each other. So that's close, too. I got to thinking about this earlier. I was like, well, heck, I wonder why. Because uh, usually when one team has the division wrapped up, it'll do a little cut scene. But that hadn't happened yet. It hadn't even happened for, for uh, San Francisco yet. San Francisco's 11-1. So technically that still means the Rams have a chance. Of course, after this week, I'm sure San Francisco will win, and it won't matter if the Rams win because there's only four games left. So if San Francisco wins, that'll be our first division winner. In the Central, yeah, that's close too. Yeah, we're a little bit, a little bit more diverse. It's going to come down to us and Philly. So anyway, this. The old system, which is this one, I liked this system better, where you only had three divisions. Because to me, it is more conducive to putting the best, putting these six best teams in the playoffs. I would really, really like to get that first round by. I'm I mean, San Francisco is going to get one of them for sure. I'd really like to be the team that gets the other one. And we do have to play Philly. So, uh, out of the four games that we're going to play, Philly is going to play us. I'm not going to chalk that up as an L just, just because. But, you know, we need to be conscientious of it for sure. And we we really need to hope that they – at least lose one, hopefully hopefully lose two outside of the game that we're going to play against them. As far as the Central, yeah. Of course, I mean, the playoff picture is not going to be any different. There's going to be – it's basically going to be San Francisco and either us or Philly because it doesn't look like Minnesota is going to catch us. In week, they're in week 14. They're sitting at 7-6, and six, so they're two games behind us. That's just – that's the bad thing about it. Like, say – say Dallas and Philly end up with the exact same record. Well, Philly's going to win the division, and even though we have the same record, we're going to have to play in the first week, and they're going to get a bye, which I think is kind of cruddy, but – Whatever. That's just how it goes. Yeah, let's get started. Okay, all right. We got to skip. Forgot to skip. I'll go back and do that. All right. Pittsburgh. Apparently they're good. I mean, I don't know. They may take it to us. 
But I really can't think of anybody. Let's just take a look at their team. I can't think of anybody on their offense that really stands out. Bubby Brister is their quarterback. Merrill Hodge. He was a commentator for a while. But yeah, I mean, well, Eric Green. I, he Seems like he was a decent tight end. Decent line. I mean, Dermonte Dawson, Tunch Ilkin. He's an interesting story. Okay, yeah, one more thing I want to address before we start is... Did I skip? Yeah, I did. One more thing I wanted to address before we start is... Uh, chances are I'm probably going to end up having to play San Francisco in the playoffs, given that I make the playoffs, which I probably will make the playoffs. Um, there's a way that you can – I wouldn't call it cheating. There's just a way that you can semi kind of make things easier, and that's to go into your opponent's playbook and change their plays. Now, the computer is still going to play a little – role in it you know they're gonna it's just gonna be like new york if they don't feel like you should win that game then you're not gonna win it but there are some plays that especially like uh like bootlegs and draw plays things like that that kind of take a little bit longer to develop and that'll give your your defense time to fight off their block and get to the quarterback uh, i'm not gonna I'm not going to do that the first time around. I'm not going to do it until I get to San Francisco, it, given that I do get to them. And I'm not going to I'm not going to do it with any other team. But I'm going to at least have that idea handy in case I do need to use it. So anyway, I won't worry about that for now. Pittsburgh for now. They're not as good as their record indicates. See, like that on the bottom left, that pass play right there, that's a bootleg to the right. I don't think your quarterback can actually throw the ball until he's completed that path. So that's a play that takes a little bit longer to develop, and it would give if you were playing a defensive lineman, which is what I typically do, it would give your defensive lineman time to fight off his block and get into the backfield and possibly tackle him before he sets his feet. And you can actually fill up the entire bottom row, all the pass plays of another team with plays like that that take a while to develop. Ready, down, but anyway, enough about that for now. Hopefully I won't even have to bother with it. Alright. Ready down. Take that. Ready down. Hut, hut, hut.
off, wait up the clock. Stay on top till we get to half time. Ready down. Hunt, 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 hunt. Trade the passing game to be able to run in this game any day. As long as he doesn't fumble. Emmett Smith is the only Pro Bowler. Not a start. Right, we gotta go for it. Ready, down, hunt, hunt, hunt. I mean Novacek. Novacek was the wit of the night. Like to hold him to a field goal. Ready, down, put, 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 put. Intercept, intercept, intercept. Put, 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 put. 
Try to get a field goal range at least. Oh, we got Irvin wide open. Catch it. And a boy, catch it. Yes. You the man. Come get me. There we are. Touchdown. I'm on the clock. Ah, eight seconds. Alright, we're gonna get the ball back. Alright, what halftime show we got today? percentage man ready down put 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 Steelers have uh, Rod Woodson think about that Rod Woodson and Greg Lloyd
league stats. Will Smith is not too far behind. Thurman Thomas for the lead league in rushing yards. And I would like to... I mean, well... I guess it doesn't matter, but... It'd be kind of cool if I could lead the league in rushing. He's definitely got more touchdowns than, than uh, any other running back in the league. When I checked, he had 25, and I think the closest other running back had like maybe 17, I believe. their play three times in a row. Ready, down, yeah, put, I didn't put, get four, put, though. Put, put. Timeouts here. Ready, down, put, put, put. I'm telling you, this this game right here just feels different Ready, than playing down, put, put, the New York Giants or the Philadelphia Eagles. It just feels different. It actually feels like a game. Feels like your efforts are your f. Excuse me. Feels like your efforts are actually Ready, you know, put, 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 me, put, put, meaning something. Francisco game. AI is not going to like Dallas Cowboys beating the play the game. Thank <laughs> you. 
that. Let's finish off the rest of the week. All right, we want to keep our eyes on. All right, Houston and Philly played, and I I wasn't even paying attention. I don't know if Philly won or not. And then Washington plays L.A., which actually was the L.A. Rams back then, just like they are now. Let's see, who did New York play? Oh, they played Cincinnati. Okay. All right, let's just finish the week, and then we'll wrap it up, and then we'll check the standings in the next video. Yep, Washington did win. Okay. All right, we got the W, so we're in good shape. Win and you're in. That's pretty much how it is right now. That's our, that's the theory. So, all right, guys, appreciate y'all watching, and uh, stay tuned for another episode of Tecmo Super Bowl. Later.